CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 8 Decimals Page 168 Part 2 8.3 Hundredths David was measuring the length of his room. He found that the length of his room is 4 meters and 25 centimeters. He wanted to write the length in meters. Can you help him? What part of a meter will be 1 centimeter? Page 169 1 centimeter is equal to 1 upon 100 meter or 1 hundredth of a meter. This means 25 centimeters is equal to 25 upon 100 meters. Now, 1 upon 100 means 1 part out of 100 parts of a whole. As we have done for 1 upon 10, let us try to show this pictorially. Take a square and divide it into 10 equal parts. What part is the shaded rectangle of this square? It is 1 upon 10 or 1 tenth or 0 0.1. See figure 1. Now divide each such rectangle into 10 equal parts. We get 100 small squares as shown in figure 2. Then what fraction is each small square of the whole square? Each small square is 1 upon 100 or 1 hundredth of the whole square. In decimal notation we write 1 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.01 and read it as 0 0.01. What part of the whole square is the shaded portion? If we shade 8 squares, 15 squares, 50 squares, 92 squares of the whole square. Take the help of following figures to answer. We have a table with three columns, shaded portions, ordinary fraction and decimal number. 8 squares, 8 upon 100. 0 0.08 15 squares 15 upon 100 0 0.15 50 squares dash dash 92 squares dash dash page 170 let us look at some more place value tables we have three columns ones tenths hundredths two four three the number shown in the table above is 2 plus 4 upon 10 plus 3 upon 100. In decimals, it is written as 2.43, which is read as 2.43. Example 4. Fill in the blanks in the table using block information given below and write the corresponding number in decimal form. 100 blocks. 3 10 blocks, 2 unit blocks, 1 tenth blocks, 5 hundredth blocks. Solution We have a table, hundreds, tens, ones, tenths and hundredths. The values are 1, 3, 2, 1, 5. The number is 100 plus 30 plus 2 plus 1 upon 10 plus 5 upon 100, which is equal to 132.15. Example 5. Fill the blanks in the table and write the corresponding number in decimal form using block information given below. We have two blocks and a table with three columns, ones, tenths and hundredths. Page 171. Solution. The numbers in the table will be 1, 4, 2. Therefore, the number is 1.42. Example 6. Given the place value table, write the number in decimal form. We have a table with 5 columns, hundreds, tens, ones, tenths and hundreds. The values are 2, 4, 3, 2, 5. Solution. The number is... 2 multiplied by 100 plus 4 multiplied by 10 plus 3 multiplied by 1 
plus 2 multiplied by 1 upon 10 plus 5 multiplied by 1 upon 100, which is equal to 200 plus 40 plus 3 plus 2 upon 10 plus 5 upon 100, which is equal to 243.25. We can see that as we go from left to right, at every step the multiplying factor becomes 1 upon 10 of the previous factor. The first digit 2 is multiplied by 100. The next digit 4 is multiplied by 10, that is 1 upon 10 of 100. The next digit 3 is multiplied by 1. After this, the next multiplying factor is 1 upon 10, and then it is 1 upon 100, that is 1 upon 10 of 1 upon 10. The decimal point comes between 1's place and 10's place in a decimal number. It is now natural to extend the place value table further from hundredths to one tenth of hundredths, that is, thousandths. Let us solve some examples. Example 7. Write as decimals A. 4 upon 5, B. 3 upon 4, C. 7 upon 1000. Solution A. We have to find a fraction equivalent to 4 upon 5 whose denominator is 10. 4 upon 5 is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 upon 5 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 8 upon 10, which is equal to 0 0.8. Page 172. B. Here we have to find a fraction equivalent to 3 upon 4 with denominator 10 or 100. There is no whole number that gives 10 on multiplying by 4. Therefore, we make the denominator 100 and we have 3 upon 4 is equal to 3 multiplied by 25 upon 4 multiplied by 25, which is equal to 75 upon 100, which is equal to 0 0.75. C. Here, since the 10th and the 100th place is 0, therefore we write 7 upon 1000 is equal to 0 0.007. Example 8. Write as fractions in lowest terms. A. 0 0.04 B. 2.34 C. 0 0.342 Solution A. 0 0.04 is equal to 4 upon 100, which is equal to 1 upon 25. B. 2.34 is equal to 2 plus 34 upon 100, equal to 2 plus 34 divided by 2 upon 100 divided by 2, equal to 2 plus 17 upon 50, equal to 2 17 upon 50. C. 0 0.342 is equal to 342 divided by 1000, equal to 342 divided by 2 upon 1000 divided by 2, equal to 171 divided by 500. Example 9. Write each of the following as a decimal. A. 200 plus 30 plus 5 plus 2 upon 10 plus 9 upon 100. B. 50 plus 1 upon 10 plus 6 upon 100. C. 16 plus 3 upon 10 plus 5 upon 1000. Solution. A. 200 plus 30 plus 5 plus 2 upon 10 plus 9 upon 100 is equal to 235 plus 2 multiplied by 1 upon 10 plus 9 multiplied by 1 upon 100 equal to 235.29. B. 50 plus 1 upon 10 plus 6 upon 100 is equal to 50 plus 1 multiplied by 1 upon 10 plus 6 multiplied by 1 upon 100 which is equal to 50.16. C. 16 plus 3 upon 10 plus 5 upon 1000 is equal to 16 plus 3 upon 10 plus 0 upon 100 plus 5 upon 1000, which is equal to 16 plus 3 multiplied by 1 upon 10 plus 0 multiplied by 1 upon 100 plus 5 multiplied by 1 upon 1000, equal to 16.305. Example 10. Write each of the following as a decimal. A. 306 and 7 hundredths. B. 11.235. Page 173. C. 
9 and 25 thousandths. Solution A. 306 and 7 hundredths is equal to 306 plus 7 upon 100 equal to 306 plus 0 multiplied by 1 upon 10 plus 7 multiplied by 1 upon 100 equal to 306.07. B. 11.235 is equal to 11.235. C. 9 and 25 thousandths is equal to 9 plus 25 upon 1000 equal to 9 plus 0 upon 10 plus 2 upon 100 plus 5 upon 1000 equal to 9.025. Since 25 thousandths is equal to 25 upon 1000 equal to 20 upon 1000 plus 5 upon 1000 equal to 2 upon 100 plus 5 upon 1000. Exercise 8.2 1. Complete the table with the help of these boxes and use decimals to write the number. We have three different boxes and a table with four columns, ones, tenths, hundredths and the number. Write the values for A, B and C in the blank spaces. 2. Write the numbers given in the following place value table in decimal form. We have a table with six columns, hundreds, tens, ones, tenths, hundredths and thousands. There are five rows of numbers. Let's read them. A. 0, 0, 3, 2, 5, 0. B. 1, 0, 2, 6, 3, 0. C. 0, 3, 0, 0, 2, 5. D. 2, 1, 1, 9, 0, 2. E. 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, 1. Page 174. 3. Write the following decimals in the place value table. A. 0 0.29. B. 2.08. C. 19.60. D. 148.32. E. 200.812. 4. Write each of the following as decimals. A. 20 plus 9 plus 4 upon 10 plus 1 upon 100. B. 137 plus 5 upon 100. C. 7 upon 10 plus 6 upon 100 plus 4 upon 1000. D. 23 plus 2 upon 10 plus 6 upon 1000. E. 700 plus 20 plus 5 plus 9 upon 100. 5. Write each of the following decimals in words. A. 0 0.03. B. 1.20. C. 108.56. D. 10.07. E. 0 0.032. F. 5.008. 6. Between which two numbers in tenths place on the number line does each of the given number lie? A. 0 0.06. B. 0 0.45 C. 0 0.19 D. 0 0.66 E. 0 0.92 F. 0 0.57 7. Write as fractions in lowest terms. A. 0 0.60 B. 0 0.05 C. 0 0.75 D. 0 0.18 E. 0 0.25 F 0 0.125 G 0 0.066 You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6 Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C I E T N C E R T New Delhi India